What's crack a -lackin', folks? Welcome back to King Arthur. Are we in the process of stopping that ritual? It's going on somewhere over there. Hopefully, at least. And there's more enemies? Careful. This is a guard post. We should take them down fast before the patrol comes back. Yes, let's take them down fast. Are they still fighting? Are those two different troops fighting? Are you scared of a little brawl now, sorceress? Watch your words, knight. I've killed men for less. But can you kill me? Okay, so they're all... Are they all together? I mean, they're facing each other. I'm not sure they're actually what is your command? Um, on the same side. So I think we start with... Oh, that's a lot of damage. Let's see how much damage um, Sir Yvain can do. Minus three. If he moves one over, I think he can hit both of them. So with that, we have we have one more shot left, so that's good. Can you hit both of them? Yes. And then... Wait, what? <sighs> Sorry. Never mind, I guess. <laughs> Actually, Kantigern can... I kind of want to burn her, but this is three. Let's just burn him. So she's useful as well. And I think we go here in Overwatch. I'm not sure they're gonna turn around. That's why I'm not gonna go into defensive stance. Dervain, you just move up. You don't have any other meaningful movement points left. Go behind them. just come here and hopefully not get spotted and we can kill the bowman we also kill the warrior which is probably a bigger pain I murder that one and yeah go here I mean, he has this Four invul invulnerability shields, plus the mega armor for the first attack, and he has dodge. Yeah, look at that. Oh, so the spells go through it. And that didn't even touch the armor, that went straight to um, HP. Interesting. So it seems like Awaiting your command. And they're all against us. Uh, it seems like... These spells don't care about armor. And... Is that a, a invulnerability against ranged only? Oh, first attack. Six more armor. Uh, oh, two attacks. Okay. He gets four incoming hits. So yeah, this neither does count as hit, I guess. And we don't even have enough AP to <laughs> do a proper... Oh, he can attack. Yeah. Go attack. We have so little AP. It's crazy. Um, we can do... Lightning as well. She's just really weak. Uh, and he doesn't... He honestly doesn't have much damage. Like, let's do that. And kill that warrior. That's very useful. Actually, that was, that was pretty decent damage. Um, for him. Look at that way. How far can you jump? Not far... 
kind of sad. Um, he can jump here, though. I'm not sure if that's a backstab, but kill her anyway. So that's all that matters. And then we go right into his face, so he gets a debuff against um, attacking us or anybody else. Uh, where do we put you? Yes, here's fine. And then Kaintigern. Yeah, see, this one is just going um, through it. And she can't reach anyone with the, the Thunderbolt, sadly, off by one tile. Oh well. This happens. Yeah, we're fine. <coughs> Oh, I survived with, like, 4 HP. Um... Oh, he's stunned. How oh, dare. So many offerings. Not cool. He almost killed him, so that's pretty good. And then if you come... Actually... Um, just shock him. Because your attack isn't that good. Otherwise, I am here to serve. And then you just kill the bomb. Well, I'm still standing. <laughs> he says as he is stunned. <laughs> All right. I I think we do we still have a bonfire. No, after this. So he got hit pretty hard. Or we? I think we just replenished the armor. So it wasn't that bad, but he's still out of HP, which is kind of concerning. Oh, here we go. Oh, yes. Can you feel that? The chill in your bones, the cold on your skin. Our sacrifices were not left unanswered. He is approaching. The blood we shed has thinned the veil enough for him to break through. The Nether King will come to deliver us from our enemies! All right, time to end this lunacy. She was mad. No, don't leave us, my king. Don't leave. All our efforts were in vain. This is impossible. We must have been betrayed. Cantigern. You fools, I told you to kill her. Now she's ruined everything. Death unto her. No. All right, let's see. Oh, pretty far away. We probably can't. Uh, wrong button. Anyway, still fine. They have three archers, the Grand Shaman. He has Fire Blast, which is, ouch. So we can Overwatch, but stand here. I am ready. Um, Sir Evane. Um, put that fighter on fire and then go behind here. We actually can attack again, which is nice. Won't kill the fighter, though, sadly. Uh, you could sneak around the side, I guess. How far can they make it? They probably can spot him, but not attack. So, there you go. Kaintigern is not very useful. She has the lingering fire thing too, so I, mean, I think it's worth it. That kind of blocks their path through, and if they decide to come through anyway, uh, they have to take fire damage. It's fine by me. Let's see, can you reach? 
No. Need to reach now. Yes. There you go. It's a lot of damage for the initial round because now he becomes invulnerable. He probably becomes invulnerable. Um, so yeah. Thanks for dying. Ah, stop the healing. That's fine. Just broke off, didn't do anything. I mean, the good thing is they become invulnerable now, uh, where they really, you know, we can just wait them out. They don't do much. I serve the Lord. Um. You can almost walk up to that guy. Can you throw dagger? Yeah. Sadly doesn't kill him. Let's mark that target. Go here. I am here to and I need to revain. Ugh, to actually kill that one. He needs to walk so far. Actually no, he can go here. Kill that one. Very important. And then... I guess you can go here and overwatch. What did we do with the Fairy Knight? I think we keep utilizing... Oh, that's good damage on the Shaman. Yeah, we do that. Get rid of their healing. Very nice. And then you just stay here. Cantigern can't reach. Yeah, figured. Ah, she still can't reach. We still can do uh, a bolt, but we, yeah, we just can't reach. Sad. We'll save that one for when the shaman is closer. For my forefathers. And you he still can move. He could do that one, but that also not good. Um, you just overwatch and let's see what they do. This is where I perish. Oh wow, he's taking a lot of damage. Jesus, stop it. Oh my god. Is he gonna die? That was very unfortunate. Holy crap. <laughs> I did not expect him to get targeted that hard heavily. He's in cover, right? It doesn't seem the cover did anything whatsoever. Alright, you need to heal. And then just get out of here. I don't even know where to put you. I am here to serve. What is your I'm fairy knight. That's gonna push him back. For king and country. Can you reach that one now? Yes. It's <laughs> just no damage. Awesome. <laughs> uh, sure, whatever. 16. <laughs> it just seems so pathetic how much or how little damage she does. For my uh, Fairy Knight. Attack that one. Should be pushed back. No mercy for the wicked. Put a trap here. A trap here and then just jump out of the way oh and you can still hide which is very important <laughs> you're in bad shape I am here to serve now you yeah look at that we can't shoot through but they had no problem I guess just barely to the side of it very unfortunate set him on fire Oh, we can shoot again. Very nice. I fight for honor. Kill that warrior, and then you come here, and you just have to take that Fire blank. And you can even Overwatch. You know, next turn, I don't think anybody's gonna run up to him. Nobody can actually reach. Next turn, he's going to teleport in the back line and just murder all of them. 
kind of what our vanguard's job was. And look at that, he shoot past sight. <laughs> oh, and he didn't step in the trap. How dare. Okay. We burn them. Yeah. Still not a lot of damage. Then you. Do we need that? No. Kill him that way. And go here to surround them. You already cast your thing. Can't jump yet. And throw. Can't really kill anyone either with that. Put it on the shaman. And go hide again. <laughs> You're so close to dying. Uh, you'll be fine. Um, do we do this? For my forefathers. I don't know if we can just have them have him abandon like this position I think he has to stay there and tank who else is AP she has AP but she can't do anything with it so sure just overwatch if anybody comes past here you already did all used all your AP I am ready you still have a shot. I can kill that one. Very nice. So, um, heal that one. <laughs> Actually, now we have only ranged ones, which is good. We're pretty much done with uh, the battle. Hopefully. <laughs> yes, heal the archer that dies in like one hit. <laughs> anyway. Well, there's not much more he can't heal, but yeah, they, they just ran out of it. Oh, he's go gonna die. There you go. Don't you worry. You can't even kill an archer. Wow. They're getting really, really beefy right now. It's, it's nuts. Then, Fairy Knight. Push him out. Awaiting your command. Kernigan can't do anything either. I serve the Lord. He could probably jump behind him and kill him. Yeah. And then hide. I am ready. Sir Evane, you can't reach that guy, right? Is there any place you can? Yes. Plan? But we can also just teleport and murder. No, <laughs> you have no AP. That's fine. You just moved, so Surrey Vane has a nice uh, free shot. Yeah, kill him. There we go. By the gods, what a mess. All right. You need to explain to me what just happened here. That thing you saw was King Bres. King Bres? I've never heard of him. He is one of the most powerful Fomorian of all, second only to Baylor himself. Had he managed to break through, no one in this cave would be alive now. I can't believe that idiot. Tried to summon Bres himself. Relax. We stopped him. Didn't we? For now. But I'm worried this is not the end. Yeah, it never is. Do we get some treasure? Yes, there is a fancy chest here. Relic sigil for medium armor and an artifact tome. So we can rest here. Um, I don't think we have any... Oh, and we got relic. That's nice. I don't think anybody recovers vitality by resting. Resting so, ready. Yeah, that didn't really matter. Sura uh, uh Tegir 
almost died. <laughs> that was pretty close. Uh, but that is seemingly all for this mission, so let's get out of here. Figure out what good loot we got and lick our wounds. Oh, Sir Evane also um, took an injury. That's rough. But Sir Balin leveled up. And Sir Tega leveled up. I mean, he he really put everything in this mission he deserves to level up. So what do we get? Um, symbol of Communion. 46 HP, 4 armor. 50% of damage suffered by allies within 3 tiles range is suffered by the hero instead. As a medium armor? Vanguard Sage only. That's rough. Yes, I, I can see that for a Sage because she is the... She's the support, right? The one that buffs all the heroes, but she's not the tank, right? That's an interesting one. Then, movement AP, turn the... Yeah, that's not... This may be reasonable for a Vanguard, but we have way better attributes. Uh, plus 4 damage against shield units, plus 10% damage for one turn for each hit received. I think we already have the exact same one. Minus one cooldown for slowing hex. Gain five damage for two turns for each kill. For your pain, it's not really worth it either. And the green ones are usually not that good. Anyway, um, Tome of Resistance. The next mission, the hero gains plus 50% physical and mental debuff resistance. That's interesting. We got 385 uh, relic dust. That's huge. And one. Topaz. Oh, the hero returned. Sir Balin has returned. After weeks of playing hide and seek, my knight has managed to catch the highwaymen and convinced them to serve Camilla. Splendid. Praise Sir Balin for the successful chase. Plus 40% XP. Increase Sir Balin's loyalty by two. Very nice. And that's four Hundred building resources. Um, what was his loyalty? Uh, he's already completely capped on loyalty. So, Sir Tegger, before we stitch you back together, uh, what do we put your attributes into? Chump, we can get one movement AP after using Chump. We, yeah, the traps are so hard to use. And the strike causes poison against bleeding units. Poison dagger. I think we we buff this. Yeah, he seemed like we need to use mark target more. And the hidden. The two movement AP would also be useful. Uh, more range, slow. I think the slow and range would be decent, but I think we do range and then for hide the two movement AP. That makes it easier for him to position. And then Sir Balan, he's the first one, I think, to unlock or to actually get something in uh, the third tree, even though level th we have others in level 13. But they haven't actually unlocked any anything down here. Interesting. Alright, Sir Balan, what do you have? You have Whirlwind. 100% weapon damage to adjacent units, so that's for him standing alone, like, in the front. Pulverize. He has 120% weapon damage to every unit in an area of 3 by 3 tiles because it's knocked back. Is that around me? Range 2-2. Two, two. So I can do it in front of me. That's decent. Basic uh, efficiency for stun and slow effects. We only have one attack that stuns. 
So yeah, while it can't stun for quite a while, um, plus 20% weapon damage for every skill that deals damage in an area. That sounds pretty good. For each adjacent enemy. This could be what we need right now. Or we just go for... Well, Whirlwind is all the way around him, including friendly units, right? So... Pulverize is probably the better choice. And attack is always the better defense. But he has a weapon that really makes attack against stunned units powerful. Sadly, he's not very loyal, which is a concern. Now, we have an item upgrade finished. Who had this one? Immunity to chill. Regain one armor for every 10 HP regained from any service plus 13 HP. That's... Not a good one, to be honest. Immunity to chill. We haven't really run into chilling enemies. What are the armor values? 58? This is 46. And 11, this is 14. This is a pretty bad heavy armor. Defender champion only. 51, 12. 29, 7. Wait, where did it go? Oh, here. So this one is 46, 11. Um, or... What was that? Sir K? This is a huge upgrade. Oh, maybe this was his. And we... We used that one. We replaced that one. So it's 17 HP more, 4 armor more. Um, we, we don't lose the minus 25% total armor. Movement cost 33% less AP. That would be very useful to him. Dodge the first incoming opportunity attack isn't important to him. So I guess we go with that one. That should make him more competent and deadly. This one, uh, just plus four more damage. Three damage for two turns for each kill. Yeah, I think we, we upgrade that one too. It's just... Um, Straight up more damage. Wait, we want to do this one. Yeah. All right, let's see, do we have, yes, we do have an event. The Wild Hunt Unleashed. The Wild Hunt swept through the villages and castles unexpectedly and relentlessly. My knights finally arrived. She had already vanished without a trace. Only a handful of women and children survived the bloodshed. They were probably left alive by the she to plant the seeds of fear and dissatisfaction with their harrowing stories. Such a challenge to my honor cannot go unanswered, but I must deal with the survivors before anything else. All right, we can rebuild the race settlement and I think we lose building resources and increases the right full hero's loyalty. Order the knight to silence the survivors and quell the gossip. Do nothing. I think our rightful heroes are kind of annoyed anyway, so... Yeah, these are the ones that need the loyalty. So, uh, yeah. Then we have a few people recover from injuries. And then we brought new ones that are <laughs> very messed up. The Sir Tegir, uh, uh, you're expensive to fix, but yeah, fix them up. And Sir Vain also has one injury. So there you go. And then the Hospice, we have a few people that need to sit in here. Lady Dindrain needs to heal up. 
Oh, and the Black Knight. Yeah, he is... He got beaten up horribly. Yeah, 6 out of 65. He almost died too. And Sir Tegir, 4 out of 57. He was in close. So too, like, dead, dead. 